Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, today I have a special guest with me. Uh, today I have Jason Ball. Now, Jason is a two-time author for Cisco Press, uh, a veteran trainer who has been teaching Cisco UC and collaboration courses over the last uh, 11 or 12 years. And uh, he's also the CEO of PCH Collaboration. And he's here to share with us about his new book. He's writing the official CERT guide for the new collaboration core exam. That's the uh, 350-801 core exam, the first step in getting your uh, CCMP in collaboration. Jason, welcome to the channel. Thank you, Daniel. It's great to be here. Good, good to have you. So, so your, uh, your start in collaboration actually started back with Tanberg. So tell us, because uh, maybe some, some people are not aware, uh, tell us uh, how does uh, Tanberg fit into uh, the collaboration uh, suite of technology? Okay, so uh, back in the day, Tamberg was an, uh, a video communication company. They did uh, uh, video endpoints, video conferencing, that sort of thing. Cisco at that time, they, the, the communications that they did, although they are the network people, they also did communications, but the communications they did was all audio. And as they started adding video into their uh, capabilities, they called it Unified Communications, or UC, uh, but their video didn't really compare to what Tamberg was offering. So uh, in order to expand their portfolio, Cisco ended up uh, buying Tamberg and then incorporating their equipment into their networks, and that created your modern-day collaboration solution. So where Tamberg fits in today into the Cisco solution is uh, your expressway core and edges, which do all your firewall traversal over IP communication, uh, your uh, conferencing solutions, some of your management software like TMS and so forth, all of that comes out of Tamber. Also, probably most importantly of all, is the endpoints. The CE software-based endpoints, even the newer endpoints Cisco's coming out with, these WebEx endpoints, they're all based off of a software code that was created and developed by Tamberg originally. Okay, cool. That's, that's really interesting. So let's backtrack a little bit here. You're currently writing the, um, the official CERT guide for the uh, Collaboration Core exam, uh, but you started out, uh, your first one was uh, you were a co-author for the, uh, I guess, the uh, CIVND 210065. Uh, tell us uh, a little bit about that. How'd you get started in that? Okay, well, it started actually a little bit before uh, Cisco Press started writing the book. I was the subject matter expert on the course that Cisco was preparing, and uh, because I was such a help uh, helping prepare that course, the person at Cisco, my contact who asked me to BS me, ended up referring me to the executive editor at Cisco Press, and they already had an author for that book. But he did end up needing some assistance writing it, so I got to come in as a co-author and wrote probably a little bit over half that book. So it was a really great experience for me. So you weren't uh, involved in the project from the outset. So how is your approach uh, to the uh, the book that you're writing now? How is that going to be different? Well, well that's, I'm really glad you asked that question because I, I was able to re read a lot of the reviews that came back from people who read the previous book. And probably the number one complaint that came from readers was that although the book was good, uh, it, there was information they were asked to know on the test that wasn't covered in the book. Now, before I talk about my approach to the new book, I need everybody who's listening to this to understand that the purpose of these books from Cisco Press they're not to give you all of the answers, right? There's no way these books would be way too long if we tried to cover every possible technology that, that could be tested uh, when you do one of these Cisco exams. There's just no way to cover all of that information. And a lot of the questions come from practical experience, and that's really hard to put into a book like this. No, so if I could just interject for just a second, um... 
I, I think that's a really good point because I think that a lot of people have the attitude that if you, uh, you purchase a book or if you purchase a course or whatever, that that uh, source of information should you know get you through the test. When in reality, you often need multiple sources. You often need uh, the book plus maybe a video series Plus, you need uh, to lab. You need that experience. You need that hands-on experience. And so I think that's really important for people to understand. Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree with you more. And uh, so what I'm trying to do in my new approach to this other book is I'll get you as close as I can to the finish line as I can. But my goal in writing this book is not just to prepare you for the test but to give you a solid foundation in all of the underlining technologies that surround this entire collaboration solution within Cisco. And so I don't exactly, if you go on cisco.com and you look up uh, next level certifications and you look at the outline that's used to create the test questions, um, and then you read my book, you're going to see, if you look at the table of contents in my book, you're going to see that I don't follow that outline exactly. But all the information included on that website is included in the book also. The approach I took is more of a, I'm going to start and assume that you know nothing, and I'm going to build a foundation all the way up through all the stuff you do need to know to, to be able to support a full Cisco collaboration solution. That's really interesting. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Uh, so when when will it be out? When when how long? Where are you in the process? Are you finished writing it or? Oh yeah. So uh, I am on chapter twenty eight out of thirty one chapters. So I am almost done writing all my rough drafts. Then it has to go through editing though. So it is going to take a few more months to uh, finish the editing process. It's a very thorough process. It actually goes through about five different cycles through editing before it's ready to go to print. Then we take one last look at it, the print version in digital form. And if everything checks out there in that form, then it goes to print. And right now, uh, again, these dates could change a little bit, but this is going to give you a general idea. We're looking at May 2nd uh, for these books to come out, which is actually really exciting because that's also my birthday. It just happens to fall on the same day. So that's kind of exciting. So, yeah, something to look forward to. Uh, and then, uh, so, so a little bit, for sure, so a little bit later this spring, um, even if it's not uh, that exact day. Um, and then uh, in addition to the book, uh, are you, you're planning on releasing a companion series uh, videos. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about that? Correct. So uh, Pearson is the company that owns Cisco Press. They're the parent company and they also own uh, O'Reilly, which you might be more familiar with under the name uh, Safari Books Online. O'Reilly is the video side of Safari Books Online. So it's all under the Pearson umbrella. So same company that runs Cisco Press, but not under the Cisco Press label. I am doing the official uh, uh, videos that will coincide with this book and those will be available through O'Reilly. Um, probably uh, the videos will probably come out before the book though. Uh, at least that's what they're telling me. So uh, if the book comes out May 1st, the videos will probably come out sometime in April. So it's all going to be really close together when all of these come out. Sounds good. Sounds good. I can't, I can't wait for, for both. And then on top of all of this, you're also, uh, so we have the core exam, but then there are also, uh, I believe, uh, four or five concentrations uh, in the collaboration space. Uh, and you're working on one of those. Which one of those are you working on right now? Uh, correct. So uh, I am working on the implementing Cisco collaboration cloud and edge solutions. So it deals with Expressway Core and Edge, but it also deals with the uh, WebEx hybrid integrations into an on-premise solution. And the uh, code for that is the CLCEI. Uh, the test is the 300-820 exam. And so I will be working on that one. So if you guys want information on how Cisco is doing the new exams, which come out February 24th, you can go to uh, cisco.com, look up next level certifications, and what you will find is uh, to get a CCMP collaboration under the new certification track, 
you have to take the core exam, which is the first book I'm writing, and one other specialization exam, which I'm also writing one of those. So with all of this material I'm making available to you, you should be able to get your Cisco uh, CCMP certification, or at least be on the right track to earn that at least. And do you know, uh, are there any uh, plans in the works for doing a video series for that uh, concentration or not sure yet? Or Well, currently uh, there are no plans. Uh, that is something that's still pending and it's all based on uh, kind of supply and demand, so to speak. So, right. Uh, right. so right now there's no plans through O'Reilly to come out with those videos, but I assure you that I will be coming out with those videos uh, one way or another. So you will have those videos also to be able to, to uh, help you in that learning process. All right. Definitely lots to look forward to. Fantastic. Well, um, that probably about does it for uh, for this one. Um, if you guys, uh, by the way, if you guys have any questions that uh, you want to ask Jason, uh, feel free to put them down in the comments. Uh, I'm sure he can uh, get back to you. Jason, do you mind coming back and uh, answering some of those questions? I would love to do that. Absolutely. Let me Sounds know what questions are. I'm happy to answer them. And depending on uh, you know what kind of uh, response we get, we could even come back and do a follow-up video if uh, people have uh, a lot of uh, questions that we didn't really uh, discuss or cover in this one. All right, Jason, I want to thank you uh, so much for joining us today. Thank you, Daniel. I'm very glad that you had me on today. I enjoyed it. Fantastic. All right, guys, uh, that's it for this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.